Turning now to the record-breaking Powerball jackpot, take a look at this all-day people lining up in White Hills, Arizona. It's a hot spot for Californians who have no Powerball but crossed the border to buy tickets in Arizona. Some waited more than an hour. The jackpot is now at $500 million, the drawing 24 hours away. But not all the money we pay goes to the winner, so we set it to find out who gets the rest of it. Here's ABC's Amy Robach. Powerball fever has swept the nation. And good luck. All right. This it's believed by the time of tomorrow night's drawing, Americans will have purchased more than $1 billion in Powerball tickets. Nationally, that's 105,000 tickets per minute. 42 states, as well as the District of Columbia and the Virgin Islands, participate. Since Powerball began 20 years ago, buying your ticket in Indiana has proven to be the safest bet. With an incredible 38 Powerball winners from that state alone, Missouri follows with 26. Florida, which sells the most tickets, has seen four winners in just the past three years. This big money denied. It's when America. jackpot soar, so do sales. The states are all winners here, raking in $60 billion just last year. So where does that money go when you buy that $2 Powerball ticket? $1 goes to pay out the cash prizes. The other is kept by your state. It covers the cost and funds programs like health care and education. In Florida, more than a billion dollars a year goes to statewide education. In Pennsylvania last year, more than a billion dollars went to assist seniors. Here's how it works in New Jersey. So it, it, it goes throughout the state into all areas, whether it's in prizes or in revenues to the Treasury or into income for small businesses, uh, at a cost of only eight cents a do out of the dollar to produce it. There are a lot of winners. There are tons of winners. More good news for states looking for a boost to their budget. Amy Robach, ABC News, New York. <laughs>